Why was I stuck with this science crap? I'm a field worker. What is this stuff anyway? Huh? Oh. Looks he's gonna be my little science partner for tonight. <laughs> hey, little feather. How are you? No, that's good. Yeah, I got stuck in nerd duty. I don't even know what this stuff is. Yeah, apparently some new villain has a quirk that has like a mysterious substance to it. It's non-toxic, which is all that we know about it. I have no idea what it is, to be honest. It's like a slime. Ugh. Here, uh, I shouldn't be playing with this. Put it back in a container. Just listen to it. Like what? What is this stuff? It's nasty. Smells bad too. Eh, it could be a cloaking. I'm not sure though. It seems too slick to be like a coating of some sort. Uh, why don't you take a look at it? Catch. Good catch. Ugh. How can you just handle it like that? It's gross. Jeez. It's super resistant. Apparently to these charts that it can re resist a bullet shot if you shoot it, which is interesting. But it can be easily ripped apart with fingers, which that part, I don't understand. If it can survive a bullet, then how can it just easily be ripped open by fingers? Eh, maybe you're right. Maybe it is the quirk. Maybe he has control over it. Or her. I'm not sure. They didn't really identify the gender of what it, of who it is yet. So they're still trying to figure that out. But this is very, very odd. Like it's very usable to like rip in half and stuff like that. But it can like reform in itself like quickly. Regenerative? Possibly. It's weird. So weird. Huh? <laughs> I know. Look at me trying to be a nerd. <sighs> you know, after this, we should probably get something to eat, you know? I know that Takayaki place is still open, even with this whole spread of a virus caused by a villain is out, but, uh, you know, it's whatever. Mm -hmm. There is still a place open. They sell pretty good takoyaki for um a low price. So, you up for it? Awesome. Now, we have a few other things to get through. We have these uh, cards that some of the villains left after the last uh, mission they had with the heroes. Like there's four cards here. And they all have different symbols on them. This one has a wolf. This one has a rabbit. This one has an elephant. And this one has two skulls. Now, we don't know what the origins of these four cards mean. But we think that these cards and this slime ugh, are related somehow. And we might think the slime might be related to the one that has the skulls on the card. No, there isn't there isn't no names on the card or anything like that. They're just cards with symbols on them. They were each found in different locations where each villain was spotted. 
And then after that, they just disappeared and one of these cards just flooded down. I don't know. But they're there. Oh, simple robberies and like break ins. But it's weird, they're like a cult or something. One evidence that they found was a piece of clothing over here. <sighs> don't worry, I'm wearing gloves. But yeah, a piece of clothing, it's more of a softer fabric. We think it might be of a female's coat. Mm hmm. They're still running DNA tests on it, so we don't really know for sure if it's female or not. Yeah. Uh, besides that, yeah, you've been a little feather. You miss me? <laughs> Oh, come on. Don't bite my head off. I'm just trying to have a little fun with you. Little feather. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll stop fooling around. i actually be a hero for once. Or try to be. Um... Uh, what did they say they was on this tablet? see oh yeah right here <laughs> excuse me oh come on you think I'm gonna take up one of these jobs by being sober of course I had a few drinks <laughs> so right here um right here it says we know definitely two of the villains are of male gender but we do not know their location or names we just know of their sex one supposedly has uh, an eye patch and a scruffy beard the other one is smooth shaved and has four eyes which is interesting must be part of his quirk. Yeah, possibly. I mean, not all the genders are identified with each quirk or card. So, I mean, the one with the four eyes could possibly be made of this goo. It could have been like a spider quirk of some sort. I don't know. But hey. Uh, what are you going to do, huh? I mean, this shit. It's kind of gross. Ugh. I don't know why I keep picking this up. Ugh, nasty. Anyway, let's put this down. So, um, are you free tonight, little feather? Or do you have more hero duties to do? After this, you're free. Yeah, okay. Um, I think I have my schedule all kinds of cleared up. I think I have this um, mission to do all the sciencey stuff with you. And then I think I'm pretty much free after that. But the people who told me that I had to do this stuff will most likely will be overnight. So we're probably going to be here for a while. Yeah. Um, with that being said, um, why don't you and I start reading over some of this stuff, see what we can do to find some type of evidence, and then after that, we can go over that takoyaki place, get our stomachs full, have a good meal. Talk for a little bit. I walk you home. Or maybe you invite me in. And then after that, we can have a good time. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a good plan to me. 
So, what do you say, little feather? Does that like a plan to you? <laughs> All right, then. Well, uh, let's get these cards identified, then. See if we can find any fingerprints or anything like that. No, I didn't touch the cards when I didn't have my gloves on. You think I'm some type of idiot? Don't answer that. Um, which card do you want to start with first? The bunny one it is. It reminds me of a certain someone. Yep, Mirko. Yep, toss these aside for a while now. And let's get this bad boy all scanned up and see if we can find anything. All right. 